everyone! How's everyone doing today? My name is Gina and I am here with my Tag It Tuesday for April. Um, it is a Facebook group and um, I will link that, that I will put the link in the description down below. That was so difficult for me to say. <laughs> Alright, so pretty much you make a tag and I've got these tags from Tim Holtz, the distressed um, tags. They were on sale, so I grabbed some. Um, but you can, you know, of course, create your own, make your own. So you need a tag. And you have to use at least two of the steps or items in your projects. And uh, they also do a, a ATC or artist traded card or altar cards. Um, so if you want to do that, you can do that as well. I'm not doing that. I'm just doing the tag for right now. So our four things that we were to do this month is use a stamp, collage with napkins, add stars, or use markers. I'm going to be doing the use a stamp and add stars and probably use markers really um, in the end because I know I'll probably end up using markers maybe. All right, so let us get started. So I think I'm going to just, oops, sorry about that. Oh my gosh, that made my teeth hurt. So I've got, I think I'm only going to be using my Distressed Inks again this month. Um, I've been kind of on a kick on using them. So, uh, yeah, so I'm excited to use them. So I'm, I've got uh, faded jeans and I've got pilled paint here. Now I have no idea how this is going to look together, but I'm just going to, you know, put it on and we'll see how it turns out. I don't know if it will be too dark or not, um, but we will find that out. I'm trying to get the technique of blending down with these, so, um, I think it takes some finesse to be able to do that. You lightly, just lightly press, my whole thing was before, I was, I think I was pressing too hard, so you kind of just like barely, barely put it on there. You know, and this is pretty, pretty combo. Oh, I kind of take that. That kind of looks cool. Oh, finger coming away there. Cool. All right. I think I will put a little bit of water on it, just a little bit of a spritz, not too much, kind of just like that. I don't want it to be too much because the tag already looks um, a little, you know, distressed or whatever, so that was kind of cool. So I'm going to dry this and then I will see if I need to add any more. Um, ink to it once it's dried because when they dry they do dry a little bit lighter so I'm gonna dry it and I'll be right back I think that looks so cool and I think I'm gonna just leave it alone I really do because I'm kind of really digging that okay so now I'm gonna um, do a little bit of stenciling and I've got this cool little doily and I actually got it in um, when I won the um, uh, Pick a Stick Challenge last year, they would give away goodies, and I actually won it. And I was so thankful and so happy that I got it. I got a whole bunch of cool little stuff, so it was really cool. All right, but what I think I want to try to do is just use these little things. They look like a little flower to me, you know? 
So I want to kind of just use that. And for right now, I'm going to just use the same colors that I used before. Now what I want to do is, I've got this by Tim Holtz as well. from the Crafters Workshop. I love it. No, it's the stamping goes. And that's this. I'm gonna be using my, um, this cat set. And um, I've got the dies that match it. So um, I am going to make a cat, but for right now I want to use his belly as part of the stamping process here. And I'm actually using my black ink. Alright, and then I also have my star, and it's from Tim Holtz. Okay. And so now what I want to do is I want to um, actually use the stencil again. And I'm going to use the stars part. And I'm going to use my modeling paste. Okay, oh, and what is so cool is because I didn't like, you know, put it on really thick. You can see the uh, ink coming through. So that, I think that's kind of cool. All right, so now what I want to do is I'm going to put this over to the side because now I want to create the, the, um, this, the uh, palette for the kitty. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to create my um, card so that I can stamp the the uh, kitty onto here, right? Um, and what I want to do is I'm going to take my distressed inks. I've got worn lipstick here, and I'm just going to go along the page here. And this is just a piece of watercolor paper cut down. I do want to spritz this a little just to activate it and I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll be right back okay so now I'm ready to stamp the cat image on and I'm put them in this corner here and I think I'm going to stamp it like this, like his body's there and his head is right here, I think, is what I want to do. 
And I'm using this. Um, oh, you know what? I think, I think, I think, I think with this because I think this is rubber. I think I need to switch it over. Let's go there. And let's go there. Yeah. All right. And I'm using this platform uh, just in case I have to do more than one uh, impression. I like that. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to use my die cut and I'm going to go ahead and just cut these guys out and then I will be back. Oh, kidoki. So I've got the kitty and oh my gosh, is he vibrant or what? I love him. I love him. I think he's cute. Yes. Okay. So, um, how do I want to put them down? Do I want to use matte gel medium? No. I think I'm going to use my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive in order to put them down. Hopefully this will work. Um, over the texture that I've got going on. Alright. Alright, now what I want to do is going to press on it a little bit. It's something with a lot of weight. Because there's that texture behind from using the modeling paste, I want to make sure that he's going to stay on here. Um, now I'm going to get my Stabilo All Pen Sole and I'm just going to go around him and then I will use a small little detail brush to activate it to make his shadow. He's in the page like that. I like it a lot. All right, now um, let's see. I think I'm pretty much near the end here, except I do want to take um. Try this walnut stain. I'm go on the edge with it. Okay. Oh, not cute. Um, let's see. And then I want to get some stickles. You know, I gotta have my stickles. And I think I'm going to 
just put some stickles on the stars to make them, you know, sparkle because they are stars. <laughs> Alright, and then let me get some ribbon to put on it, and it will be done. Okay, and so there she is. Um, I, okay, individually, I loved the background, and then I love the cat. Together, mm, I'm not so sure that I am digging these vibrant colors on this kind of, you know, muted background. Um, I probably should have went with, well, I'm going to show you. I started doing this first, and that's how I was going to do the cat. But then I was like, ugh, I don't like that. But now looking at this, this probably would have been better to use than what I did. But it's okay. It is what it is. Um, I still like it. It's just, I don't know together if it quite goes together because the cat is so bright and the background is so muted. But you sure can see the kitty. That is for sure. <laughs> All right. So there we are. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making and creating with you as always. Um, so, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe if you've not already subscribed. And if you have, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Um, but don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified for every time that I post a video. Alright, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all be good to one another, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!